On October 5th, 2025, the world changed. A NASA physicist stood on stage and calmly announced that her team had created something once thought impossible, a prototype engine capable of reaching 0.9 times the speed of light. Dubbed Photon Arrow, it doesn't burn fuel, it bends physics, it doesn't launch, it glides through space, powered by laser arrays and mass dampening fields. If true, it means we could reach the nearest star in under five years. But this isn't just about speed. It's about everything that happens next. New worlds, new questions, and a future that starts now. Discovery and the announcement. On October 5th, 2025, NASA held a live press event in Pasadena, where senior physicist Dr. Emily Chen announced a startling breakthrough a prototype propulsion system that could approach 0.9 c, or 90% the speed of light. The project, internally known as Photon Arrow, is the result of six years of classified research funded under DARPA and NASA's Breakthrough Propulsion Physics Initiative. The craft itself, still in prototype form, was built to test an exotic propulsion model that doesn't rely on traditional fuel. According to Dr. Chen, the craft's inertial mass is reduced using a high-frequency electromagnetic field, allowing rapid acceleration. In early August 2025, a scaled version was tested in a vacuum chamber, showing acceleration patterns previously only modeled in simulation. The scientific community reacted with cautious amazement. NASA's fastest prior probe, Parker Solar Probe, reached 700,000 kilometers per hour, just 0.06% of light speed. If Chen's prototype proved scalable, it would shatter every spaceflight speed record. Officials from ESA and CNSA called for collaborative oversight and independent verification. Despite the media frenzy, NASA clarified the craft won't carry humans or even large payloads for decades. A full-scale unmanned mission might launch in 2028 with interstellar reach possible by 2035. But one fact is undeniable. A NASA scientist has publicly stated they have engineered the world's first near light speed vehicle. The next challenge isn't publicity, it's physics. In the next section, we break down how this craft supposedly achieves such impossible speed and what laws of nature it claims to bend. The science of light speed travel. Light speed is not just fast, it's a cosmic wall defined as 299,792,458 meters per second. It forms the ceiling of motion in Einstein's 1905 special relativity. As objects approach this speed, their mass increases asymptotically, requiring infinite energy to continue accelerating. Photon Arrow claims to bypass this wall using what it calls a mass dampening field. This experimental technology reduces the spacecraft's effective inertia without breaking conservation laws. In tests conducted between March and July 2025, a small-scale vehicle was accelerated to 0.6 c over 12 minutes using external lasers and onboard field generators. The energy required remains immense. Dr. Chen estimates that to push a 1 kilogram payload to 0.9 c, it would take 5.2 times 10 to the 18th joules, roughly the total U.S. energy output in one year. Yet, the craft doesn't carry this energy as fuel. Instead, it receives directed energy beamed from orbital stations, reducing onboard mass and allowing more efficient acceleration. However, problems remain. Collisions with even micron-sized dust particles at such speeds release enough energy to vaporize metal. A new kind of electromagnetic deflector shield is in development, according to an internal NASA brief dated August 9, 2025. Until that's resolved, even unmanned flights remain risky. Even if the physics hold, building a ship to survive such speed is another story. So, in the next section, we look at how this craft is engineered, from energy shielding to structural design. Engineering the Impossible Photon Arrow isn't just theoretical, it's a working prototype, built over 32 months in collaboration with Lockheed Martin Skunk Works and the MIT Plasma Science Lab. The craft is made from ultralight, temperature-resistant alloys fused with graphene composites. At its core is a superconducting ring, operating at 4 Kelvin, stabilizing the mass dampening field. 
The external shell features multi-layered shielding, designed to absorb impacts from cosmic particles moving at relativistic speeds. At 0.9 C, a grain of sand hits with the force of a grenade. To survive, Photon Arrow's outer plating disperses kinetic energy through nested plasma barriers. Test shielding held up during simulated collisions at 0.75 C, using particle accelerators in July 2025. Propulsion is driven by phased laser arrays stationed in high Earth orbit, beaming coherent light into a rear absorption panel. This energy accelerates the craft without the burden of onboard fuel. These lasers, each rated at 15 petawatts, are powered by orbital solar farms launched in 2023, Curie in 2024. Thermal control is equally critical. As the craft moves through space, it absorbs ambient radiation and heat. A system of radiative cooling panels unfolds once in vacuum, operating within negative 220 to negative 160 degrees Celsius. Engineers call this dynamic thermal skin, a concept first drafted in 2019, but now fully implemented. Testing and validation. The first scaled test of Photon Arrow occurred on August 17, 2025, in a deep vacuum test chamber at the NASA Glenn Research Center. The model, just 1.8 meters long, reached 0.58 C in under 14 minutes, with acceleration confirmed by three independent sensors positioned along the chamber's magnetic track. Key telemetry data included inertial mass fluctuations, thermal gradients, and Doppler-shifted beam reflections. A surprise finding emerged on test cycle 9. The craft momentarily maintained velocity stability at 0.62 C with a flat energy curve. This hinted at an unexplained field equilibrium point, now dubbed the Chen Horizon by the research team. On September 4, 2025, results were submitted to Nature Physics and reviewed by a joint team from Caltech, CERN, and JAXA. While impressed, Reviewers requested longer duration trials in open space environments. Dr. Chen confirmed a suborbital demonstration would launch from Vandenberg Space Force Base in January 2026, using a full-scale model and orbital laser support. Despite initial skepticism, the broader scientific community began to pivot. By October 20th, the International Astronautical Federation convened a special panel to discuss the implications of a verified 0.9 C-capable propulsion system. The conversation had moved from theoretical physics to policy, regulation, and engineering readiness. With growing confidence in its performance, the world now asks, what will we do with this craft? In the next section, we explore the missions NASA is planning and the stakes involved. Potential missions and implications. NASA's first target is Proxima Centauri b, located 4.24 light-years from Earth. Under current tech, that journey would take over 70,000 years. With Photon Arrow reaching 0.9 c, a probe could arrive in just 4.8 years. A proposed mission, Arrow 1, aims to launch in 2030. The uncrewed craft would carry ultra-miniaturized sensors, imaging systems, and a quantum-linked communication node. Data would return to Earth via quantum entanglement relays, a tech still in experimental phases as of October 2025. Longer-term plans involve sending a swarm of microcraft, each under 10 kilograms, to explore multiple exoplanets. These probes would act autonomously, relaying data back in bursts. A mission to the TRAPPIST-1 system, located 39.6 light-years away, is tentatively slated for study by 2040. However, there are geopolitical concerns. On October 12th, the UN Office for Outer Space Affairs issued a statement calling for international oversight on interstellar propulsion, citing fears over militarization and sovereignty in deep space. Both China and India have expressed intent to pursue similar technologies, and the European Union is planning a joint propulsion lab by 2026. What was once science fiction, traveling between stars within a lifetime, is now strategic reality. The world must now balance ambition with responsibility. If interstellar missions are coming, so must oversight and planning. In the next section, we walk through the timeline NASA has set and how fast this technology is expected to evolve. Timeline and what happens next. NASA's roadmap for Photon Arrow began quietly in 2019 with DARPA funding. Now, 
As of late 2025, it's transitioning into the public and operational phase. Key milestones are set through 2040. In January 2026, a full-scale prototype will launch into low Earth orbit for autonomous field testing. By 2027, this model will conduct acceleration trials in space, attempting 0.7c over a six-hour trajectory using orbital lasers and deep space tracking. The proposed interstellar mission, Aero-1, is scheduled for construction beginning in 2028, with final assembly at NASA's Lunar Gateway Station. It will launch by 2030, arriving at Proxima Centauri by 2035. Each subsequent generation of probes will be smaller, faster, and more autonomous. Civil and international agencies are forming to regulate this new age. A proposed interstellar safety accord, modeled after the Outer Space Treaty, will be drafted by 2027. Funding is scaling up too. NASA's FY 2026 budget request includes a $9.2 billion propulsion line item, nearly triple the 2024 amount. However, challenges remain. The mass dampening tech is still unproven in long duration operation, and sustained field generation at full scale has not been tested in space. Delays are expected, but momentum is undeniable. While this tech is new, the dream is old. The next section revisits the history behind light speed ambitions, from Einstein's 1905 papers to the bold thinkers of the 1990s. Historical Context and Predecessors The journey to light speed began in 1905, when Albert Einstein introduced special relativity, declaring the speed of light the ultimate limit. Since then, science fiction and theoretical physics have chased ways to reach, or bend, that rule. In 1994, physicist Miguel Alcubierre proposed the warp drive concept, using space-time curvature to travel faster than light without violating relativity. NASA's EagleWorks Laboratory, founded in 2012, studied exotic propulsion concepts but achieved only limited progress before being shelved in 2019. Prior craft maxed out at modest speeds. The Voyager 1, launched in 1977, currently travels at just 17 kilometers per second. Even the Parker Solar Probe, the fastest object ever made, hits only 192 kilometers per second. That's barely 0.06% of C. Dozens of prior concepts, from antimatter drives to fusion propulsion, fell apart due to energy needs or material limits. But Photon Arrow is the first project to combine field physics, laser propulsion, and quantum cooling into a functioning model. It builds on a century of theory, but adds 21st century engineering. Now, the ideas once sketched in notebooks are taking physical form in labs. Light speed is no longer a dream. It's becoming an engineering milestone. The broader universe and cosmic significance. Light speed capability isn't just an engineering triumph. It's a redefinition of humanity's role in the universe. Until now, the solar system has been our cosmic prison. Even reaching Mars, at current speeds, takes six to nine months. But with Photon Arrow approaching 0.9c, interstellar space becomes accessible within a human lifetime. The first major target, Proxima Centauri b, is just the beginning. If confirmed habitable, it could represent the first viable destination for colonization or off-Earth biology studies. Missions to farther systems, like Tau CT or Gliese 581, could launch by 2045 if Arrow's evolution continues. Philosophically, this opens the Fermi paradox anew. If we're approaching interstellar travel, then perhaps others already have. What if we're not just observers, but being observed? On October 22, 2025, SETI researchers reported unusual signal modulation from LHS 1140, a nearby red dwarf system. The timing raised eyebrows. There's also the issue of contamination. Sending light-speed capable probes to untouched worlds carries ethical concerns, planetary protection, resource extraction, and potential disruption of alien ecosystems. These are no longer distant dilemmas, but near-future challenges. In every sense, scientific, political, and existential, we are stepping onto the galactic stage, and there's no stepping back. As excitement builds, so do questions. The scientific world isn't unified in belief. The next section explores why some experts are skeptical and what Photon Arrow still needs to prove. 
skepticism, and critical questions. Despite the headlines, not everyone is convinced. Physicist Dr. Alan Reyes of Princeton University published a critique in November 2025, questioning the mass dampening field as speculative and unsupported by conventional physics. The energy claims also face scrutiny. Accelerating even a one kilogram object to 0.9 C requires nearly five times 10 to the 18th joules, about one year's worth of US electricity consumption. Critics ask, where is this energy coming from? and can it be sustained for hours or days in deep space? Material survivability is another hurdle. No known material can withstand collisions with interstellar dust at relativistic speeds without serious degradation. Even advanced plasma shields, as described in NASA's internal June 2025 report, remain untested beyond simulation. There are communication challenges too. At near sea, real-time control from Earth becomes impossible. Delays, relativistic time dilation, and signal Doppler shifts make even remote piloting unreliable. Autonomy is required, but raises risk and reduces mission oversight. Lastly, no test has yet achieved sustained flight in space. All current data comes from vacuum chambers or ground-based simulations. Until the January 2026 orbital test proves otherwise, many scientists consider photon arrow a fascinating theory but not yet a breakthrough. Still, theory or not, the door is open. In our final section, we reflect on the opportunity, the responsibility, and what it means for humanity to chase the speed of light. Urgency, reflection, and call to action. Photon Arrow is more than a spacecraft. It's a symbol of transition. For the first time since Sputnik in 1957, humanity may be on the edge of a new cosmic age. One not of orbits or rovers, but of stars. With the potential to reach Proxima Centauri by 2035, the timeline is short. That demands urgent questions. What do we hope to find out there? How will we represent Earth? And who decides where we go and why? This is a turning point. We must prepare not just engineers, but philosophers, diplomats, and educators. Interstellar travel demands global cooperation. Treaties will need revision, Budgets must shift, and minds must open. If confirmed, Photon Arrow will reshape physics, rewrite space law, and force new definitions of distance, time, and civilization. But even if it fails, its pursuit pushes science forward. It inspires. Dr. Chen closed her October briefing with a reminder. Light speed isn't the end goal. Understanding is, we may never master C, but the chase has begun. And like explorers of the past, across oceans and mountains, we must walk forward into the dark. If Photon Arrow is real, it's not just the greatest engineering breakthrough of our time. It's the beginning of a new era. One where stars are no longer unreachable lights in the sky, but destinations. Real places. Within reach. For over a century, light speed was the wall we could never cross. It mocked every propulsion idea. Chemical, ion, nuclear. But now, we have a vessel that may break through not by brute force, but by rethinking what mass and motion even mean. What Einstein showed in 1905, Dr. Chen may have just bent in 2025. The implications are staggering. A trip to Proxima Centauri could take 4.8 years. Entire planetary systems, once theoretical, could be explored within our lifetimes. Science fiction becomes scientific roadmap. But with that possibility comes responsibility. Who goes first? Who decides? And what if someone or something is already out there? Skeptics will demand proof. They should. But even if this craft stumbles or stalls, it marks a turning point. A declaration that humanity is ready to chase the speed of light. And maybe, just maybe, meet whatever's waiting on the other side. History remembers moments like this. Not because they happened, but because of what we chose to do next. So, now we choose, we reach.